Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're really well. So in today's video, you'll probably guess by the title, we're gonna be talking about designer handbags, designer shoes, designer fashion, how I can afford them, what I do to get them, how I buy and sell, and easy ways to get into the designer market. Today's video is in collaboration with a brand that I love and shopped at for years. It's called Designer Exchange. You would have seen it over my Instagram. If you don't know what Designer Exchange is, it's a shop where you can sell and buy designer things. So it is a pre-loved designer shop. There's shops all over the country. There's three in London and it's a really safe way to buy and sell your handbags without being um, worried about fraud, anything like that. They authenticate every single handbag that goes in and out of the shop. So. With that said, I'm gonna get into the good stuff, the styling, the fashion, etc. You can get such good finds, like absolute bargains. I have bought two items recently. The first one were a pair of Givenchy boots. I think they retailed at about 700 and I picked them up for around about 130 pounds. You may have seen them on my channel already. So they come with the packaging if the person who sold it had the packaging. Most people do, I think, when they buy designer. Um, these were the shoes, you've probably seen them. And the best thing is I find with purchasing designer boots, like these were nearly brand new when I bought them, so not quite. It was as if someone had just worn them in for me. You know when you buy brand new shoes and they're a little bit stiff to start off with? It was literally as if someone had just worn them in for me. So when I put them on, they were really comfortable already. So none of those annoying stages where you have to really wear in the shoe. So these are Givenchy and I picked them from the Chelsea store. I remember walking up one day and I just spotted them through the window and I was like, I need to have them. And yeah, so they were my first kind of, no, they, the second purchase that I bought from Designer Exchange and the first one is a Louis Vuitton bag which you'll see in a bit when I buy and sell. So the next one is one that you may not have seen. I've keep, tried to keep it a little bit on the down low until I did this video but I had my eye on this bag for so long Literally about a year, I'm, I was really fanatical about it. I've always gone on about it. I dream about it. Like it was that much of an obsession that I wanted this bag. It's from Yves Saint Laurent. And I one day walked into the Chelsea store. I live quite by it. So like I always like pop in and have a browse and I saw it there and it was even better because it has this kind of crop pattern to it, which I love. So um, yeah, I saw it. So this I think retails, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's about one and a half like original price and I picked it up for 750 roughly about I think. So this was, it comes in the original packaging and then this is the bag. I just think it's the most beautiful, perfect size, beautiful, beautiful Yves Saint Laurent bag. It has the monochrome clasp, which I love. It's not too big, but it's still there. And the croc print that you can see there is what I loved about it. This size of bag, ooh, losing a Givenchy. This size of bag is something that I really opt for when I'm looking for designer handbags and was one of the reasons why I want to sell the Louis Vuitton that I'm about to sell because it was just too small. I need two cameras, my purse, um, like my makeup bag. I do not travel lightly in on any occasion. <laughs> so this is one I picked up recently and you'll see lots of ways that I style it in the rest of this video. So for those of you that don't know, I'm Laura Blair. I am a fashion and beauty blogger here in London. I'm 31 years old and I think through the years, high-end designer is something that I'm opting for more and more because I love having an item that will last forever rather than a throwaway item in particular in handbags, in shoes, in accessories because there's something you can wear year on after year. My style is kind of, I really love Olivia Palermo, Victoria Beckham, um, that very designer-esque kind of feel, that high-end luxury look. Doesn't necessarily have to be, as I say, I shop on the high street, I stop, shop second-hand designer, and second-hand designer is really a way that I got into that market and started to love these things. My first designer purchase was a Burberry purse, and I think my second was actually a Louis Vuitton little bag that I bought from Designer Exchange. I think it retailed at 700 from Louis Vuitton, and it, I bought it for approximately 150 pounds from Designer Exchange in their Knightsbridge store. I think with the designer items and why I'm opting more for designer stuff these days is that they're timeless. You could wear them for a lifetime. So when you walk into designer exchange, you can still wear these things year on after, they don't date. So that's why I love pre-love stuff. And the very 
obvious reason is that it's so much cheaper and a great way to get into the high-end market. It's really great as well because the Louis Vuitton, I just wasn't wearing it as much as I thought I would. So it's quite simple to walk into the shop and sell it again and repurchase something else. So what I look for in a handbag is something that will go with a lot of things. Now, I am a great lover of black. I have black shoes, black jeans. That's kind of my staple. So I knew when I purchased a black handbag and obviously black boots, they work together. There's something a bit of a staple. And actually, I had high street versions in both these before I purchased, but they were high street items that I wore and wore over again. I was replacing them year on after year. So I thought if I splurged just a little bit, spent a little bit more money, I wouldn't have to repurchase the same item year after year. And that feeling when you step out in a pair of Givenchy boots or an Yves Saint Laurent bag, I just love it. It never gets old, whereas when I buy something on the high street, I think that feeling goes very quickly. And I think if you are clever with it, you can spend less in the long run because I was, I really was repurchasing things year and after year when they got holes in or fell apart. So I think if it's something that you plan on wearing for a lifetime, it can be worth the investment. The great thing about Designer Exchange is that you literally can find anything and everything. It's one of those places that I love going into, popping into, especially on the King's Road because they get new stock in all the time. You get such gems. I get, I go in there and I get so excited. I remember once finding this Prada bomber jacket. It was so beautiful. And I just thought if I was going for ski season, that, that looks so much better than a super dry coat. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, but I do love you. You can find literally anything and anything in the designer exchange shops. That's why I love popping in. Every time I'm on the King's Road, I'll pop in and I'm just so excited to see what they have in because they always get new in things in their shops and it's so fun to have a little rummage and honestly, you can find such great bargains in there and no one will ever know that it's pre-loved at all. So my on my designer wish list, I definitely had this YSL for a long time and next on my wish list is a black quilted vintage Chanel you know the type I think they have some actually on design exchange at the moment so I'll pop a picture here I have wanted this bag for years and years and I think the time may nearly be here for one I'm so excited I I just think that black I'm a very much black and gold girl so when it comes to choosing your kind of bag there would be no point me going for a brown bag because I don't wear a lot of brown so really look to see what colors that you're wearing in your wardrobe before you purchase a handbag my favorite summer trend is the big hat I love a big hat and I'll actually pop a picture of here this is a designer exchange handbag it's a Gucci one I think it's still in store um, with a big hat <laughs> um, so that's my favorite summer trend but I also love Wearable shorts was a huge trend. I did like that. You'll see here I paired it with um, a Prada bag from Designer Exchange. I also love fringing. There was a lot of fringing on the catwalk. My favorite designer, it's so hard that I can't really pick one. And I have different favorites for different items. Like my favorite handbag designer would be different from my favorite outfit designer. But from the catwalk, I loved Max Mara and Burberry for SS19. I thought they were gorgeous. For handbags, I love YSL. I love Chanel. I love the timeless kind of designers when it comes to handbags and things that are never going to date like Louis Vuitton, um, YSL, Chanel. For shoes, I kind of do love a Christian Louboutin or maybe a Christian Dior. Dior is also one of my favorite designers. I think they did a really beautiful take on this ballet-esque kind of style. The floaty skirts, which you'll is definitely something that I wear a lot of. So when I put an outfit together, I kind of have a key piece in mind that I want to wear and work the whole outfit around it. Usually it is a handbag that I really want to wear and then I'll just pick the outfit according to the handbag um, or just a key piece in my wardrobe that I'm, I'm loving. And then I work with the colors. It's all about the color palette. I always think if you can't see those colors working together in like a palette, it's not gonna work in an outfit. I'm really into fabrics as well, like the gorgeous layering of fabrics. I think it has to work really nicely together. So those are the key things that I, I look for when I put an outfit together, the colors and the fabric. And especially when I'm thinking about shoes and handbags and jewelry, I like to keep the same metal. So I'm very much a gold kind of girl. So 
if I have gold on my shoes and my handbag, I'll try and incorporate it into the whole look. If any of you do have a designer handbag that you would like to sell, you can easily send it. I'll put the website down below where you can send it in the post or you can pop into one of the stores and after a couple of weeks, you will get a return. You can either get a voucher to spend in store for more or uh, you can get the cash, it's up to you. And they authenticate it, it's a really safe process. You'll see in this video how I actually sell two of my handbags at the store so I can show you the process really simply. So now I'm gonna head to two of my favorite stores in London, the Kensington store and the Chelsea store. We're gonna have a mooch around and see what there is in store, what I can find in there. You can get such good finds. So I actually live really, really close to all of the designer exchange stores. So I thought we'd go for a little mooch and see what they have in at the moment because there's nothing more, especially the one in the Kings Road because they sell clothes there. The other two just sell accessories, so bags and um, sunglasses and belts and stuff but the Kings Road one actually has clothes as well so it's like vintage or just like some new stuff as well so it's just like heaven for me I get so excited every time I go in so I'm actually gonna head to the Kensington one today so we're gonna have a mooch around and I'll show you some other things that they have in there so I'm just here in Kensington just outside the designer exchange store shall we go in and take a look So I'm currently in the store and this is what you find when you walk in. So I'm just going to take you around because these are all the fabulous handbags. We've got Givenchy, one of my faves, Dior, favourite, but they're all discounted. We've got some Gucci, this is a favourite of mine, we've got Prada section. Prada and a fabulous new in Chloe. If you look at the prices, they're so good. And then we have Chanel over here, this is the Chanel and Hermes cupboard. My favorite is the Jumbo Chanel, which you'll have seen on my Instagram a lot. And then we've got some Hermeses. Yeah, this is what you'll find. So it is a couple of days later, and I'm about to head to the Chelsea store. So the store that I just showed you was in Kensington. So I showed you all the bags that are in there in that store at the moment. So we're gonna go down to Chelsea today, which is the one that I always go to because obviously I live in Chelsea. Today I'm gonna take a few of my old designer handbags that I've just grown out of I don't get the use out of them as much as I thought I would and I'm gonna sell them so I'm gonna show you the whole process of how you can buy and sell with designer exchange it's super easy so we're gonna head down to Chelsea store now and yeah see how, like how much I could get for it and I've actually never sold with them before I have bought a lot of stuff from them but I haven't sold so it should be interesting to talk you through the process and stuff and um, the Chelsea store has clothes in the others don't so it's we're gonna shoot some stuff from there today show you what they have in store so it should be fun amazing stuff I've just had a sneaky peek online and they have some gorgeous stuff in there so yeah let's go so I've just got to Chelsea and this is what the storefront looks like so if you're on the Kings Road this is what you need to look out for so I'm just gonna show you some of my favorite things in the Chelsea store at the moment we have these amazing heels right here the Christian Vuitton I also love these these are Louis Vuitton really like them so we have all the boots here loads of clothes and then the bag up at the top so I've just brought my bags into the shop and literally you just walk up to the counter and you ask these lovely ladies <laughs> if to sell them and they just sort it out for you they get sent off or you can do it online take a picture send it in and they send you a quote so yeah it's really simple so I hope you enjoyed this video do let me know if it was interesting if you found it informative and let me know if you want to see more of my designer handbag kind of collection because my clients growing <laughs> do let me know in the comments below what your favorite designer handbag is or what what if you what's your dream bag let me know your dream designer purchase whether it be shoes or clothes let me know in the comments below I'd love to know what you you guys like and yeah design exchange all the details are in the description box below any questions just do feel free to ask me or follow them on Instagram and DM them really simple and yeah I'll see you soon for another video Bye.